Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurologist from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. My email is sriklpm at gmail.com. I am also the medical author of two books, Focused Neurology and Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology. Today we are going to talk about a very very important topic the CT and MRI characteristics of various tissues, how they appear on T1, how they appear on T2. The CT and MRI characteristics of various tissues, Neuroimaging Concepts Part 8. So the various characteristics on T1 and T2 weighted sequences, very important principle, most of the neurological lesions most of the neurological lesions appear black or hypo intense on T1 and bright or white or hyper intense on T2. So most of the lesions are black or hypo intense on T1 and white and hyper intense on T2. Most of the neurological lesions except, except there are four disorders and four chemical substances which can produce the opposite changes most important is subacute blood. So most pathological lesions are black on T1 and bright on T2 except in T1 the pathology producing bright images are blood, fat, proteinaceous fluid and minerals like magnesium. So here you can see as I said most of the lesions are black or hypo intense on T1 and white and hyper intense on T2. But if you see blood, the subacute hemorrhage, this appears white or bright on T1. So blood, very very important, especially the subacute hemorrhage appears white or bright on T1 and others being the fat proteinaceous fluid and minerals like magnesium. So most of the neurological lesions are black or hypo intense on T1 and white or bright or hyper intense on T2 except the most important being blood and others being fat, proteinaceous fluid and minerals like magnesium. Of course, on CT scan also the blood appears white, you can see here. So, subacute blood appears white on CT and white on T1 also. So, to put it in the other way, so most of the lesions are dark on T1 and bright on T2. So, most of the lesions are dark or hypo intense on T1 and bright or hyper intense or white on T2. So most of the lesions, we take edema, chronic lesions, they are dark on T1 and bright on T2. That is cytotoxic edema, vasogenic edema, hydrocephalus, inflammatory lesions, all appear dark on T1, hyper intense and bright on T2. But as I said, exceptions are especially the subacute bleed. If you take the subacute bleed, it appears hyper intense bright on T1 and hypo intense or dark on T2. The others being paramagnetic substances, protein rich fluid, fat and flowing blood. So now, if we see the various tissue characteristics on CT and MRI, here you can see most of the lesions are black on T1 and white on T2, you can see white on T2, except as I said blood which appears white on T1 and black on T2. So generally when we see the various characteristics of various tissues. The brain appears grey on CT. In T1 also it appears grey and T2 also appears grey. Air appears black on all three sequences. CSF black on CT, black on T1 and white on T2. We have discussed in T1, T2 sequences that the CSF appears black on T1 and white on T2. Fat appears black on CT and white on T1 and less white on T2. Calcium white on CT, black black on T1 and T2, 
bone appears very white on CT, black and black on T1 and T2. Extravasated blood, this is what I've been saying. It appears white on T1 and black on T2. Most of the lesions are black on T1 and white on T2, except this extravasated blood, which is white on T1 and black on T2. So inflammation again, dark gray contrast enhancing. They are gray, gadolinium enhancing on T1 and white on T2. Edema dark gray, gray on T1 and white on T2. Again tumor, gray, gray on T1 and CT and white on T2. So to finally the bottom line or the message I would like to convey is that most of the lesions are black on T1 and white on T2 except the extravasated blood which is white on T1 and black on T2. So I hope you have enjoyed listening to these various characteristics of tissues on CT, MRI T1 and T2 sequence. The other important concepts of neurology, especially the clinical neurology, I put in a book called Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology written by me, Dr. S. Srinivas. This book will be particularly useful for students appearing for clinical neurology exams. The other important book I put it, the other important book I have I've written is the Focus Neurology book. All the important concepts of neurology I put in a question answer format in a book called Focus Neurology which is available online from all leading booksellers including Amazon. So if interested, this book could be purchased online. This book will be especially useful for students appearing for oral exams. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this wonderful concepts of various tissue characteristics on CT, T1 and T2 sequence of MRI. If you have liked it, please share the link to everyone. But please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Sinwas Medical Concept, which is India's leading neurology education YouTube channel. So please subscribe to Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my IP page, Dr. Srinivas Concepts. Thank you. Bye.